Welcome to Mishnah, Stani Masachat Bikurim Perek Bet Mishnah Vav. Over here in this Mishnah, we're going to focus again on similarities, right? So if we the first uh, few Mishnah, several Mishnah of Perek, we spoke about different similarities between, you know, Tiruba, Bikurim, Aser. So now we're going to speak about an etrog. An etrog, right, is a, a fruit, as we know. But we'll see now Mishnah, there are some type of similarities where you may treat it as a vegetable. And it's pretty interesting. Let's discuss. Etrog shaveh le'ilan b'shlosha derachim v'le'yarak b'derech echad. Etrog is similar to a fruit, right, a tree, in three ways, and to a vegetable in one way. Shaveh le'ilan, how is it similar to a, to a, uh, to a, in a fruit, a tree? Ba'ola, barva'i, ba'shviyait. When it comes to ola, right, you have to wait three years. You can't eat it. You're not allowed to benefit from the tree for the first three years. And etrog tree is a tree, right? It grows. Like if you look at an etrog tree, it grows similar to a lemon tree, right? Same way lemons are going to be uh, the obligated in Ola, like all fruits. So to not is obligated in Ola, you're not allowed to benefit from the first three years. But if I.e., the fourth year is net you know, you have to go ahead and take these fruits up to Yerushalayim to eat it. Uba Shviyait, a seventh year etrog goes by when you pick it. Now, it's not when you pick it, when it becomes ripe. Right? When it becomes ripe, that's when uh, we treat the etrog as a fruit. So let's say I went ahead and, um, you know, this Sukkot, right? This Sukkot is the first year of the Shavi cycle. And last year was Shemitah. Now I have a fruit that ripened on Shemitah. And this Sukkot, the day before Sukkot, I want to go ahead and pick that fruit and to use as a, uh, you know, for, for my uh, Arbaata meaning. Could I, is that fruit still Hefker or not? Does it go by when it ripened? So Mishnah says, yeah, it goes by when it ripened. If it ripened on the, Shem on the Shemitah year, I could go ahead Right on the next year, the first year, and I could even, I could go ahead and pick that. As opposed to vegetables, right? Vegetables, we know everything goes according to when you pick it, right? So if you pick it during the shemitah year, a cucumber, you pick it during the shemitah year, then it's shemitah. If you if if it, I don't know, if it ripened beforehand, then you picked it, and on that first year, that doesn't matter. It's no no longer considered shemitah. So that's how it's similar to shavi'it. It goes by when it ripens. Bilayarak. How is it similar to a vegetable? Shibishat likitato isuro. Right when you go ahead and pick it, that's the year that it becomes obligated in maaser. Let's say you went ahead and picked this uh, etrog on the third year or the sixth year, then you need to separate maaser ani from it, right? Because third and sixth year goes to maaser ani. We don't say, oh no, it ripened on the second year and the fifth year. No, you picked it on the third and the sixth. You give maaser ani, even though it ripened on the uh, second and fifth year. Um, similarly, if you picked it on the fourth year. Right, then you're gonna separate maser shini, right? Even though it finished ripening on the third. Um, okay, now what about all the all this? Divrei Rabban Gamliel. That's Rabban Gamliel's opinion. Bili Ayezer Omer Shavel Ailam Mechol Davar. Not because oh, it's, it's it's similar to a tree and everything, right? Even when it comes to uh, you don't say bishali kita to yisuro. Also similar to a tree where we go by when it ripens. That's when you separate. That, that's when we consider that fruit from maser. Right, so to also etrog whenever it ripens, that's going to be the year of its maaser. Now halacha, right, is like you said in Masechet Sukkah, Rabotenu Hazru v'Nimnu. They came, they, and they said what etrog ahal lekitato isuro la maasrot v'la shviyit. Etrog, right, is similar, right? It, it, it goes two things, two things lekitato isuro for maasrot and shviyit. Right, when it comes to Masurat and Shavit, we care when you go ahead and pick it. Right? So I would think over here, I would think, you know, it goes according to when you pick it. That's when the that, that, that's when you have to separate Maasir. Right? Let's say I picked it in the uh, first year, then I have to separate Maasir, even though it grew in the, in the Shemitah year. And if I uh, it, you know, it, and also for Shavit, right? For Shavit, it depends if it's going to be obligated in Shavit or not. Now, what's interesting, if you look at Harambam in his Hibur, he writes a trog that ripened in the sixth year, and you picked it on the seventh year. Right, right in the sixth, picked it on the seventh. Hayav ba shvi'it and hayav in ma'asrot. So it's interesting, you're obligated in shvi'it, right, because it grew on the sixth year. But, well, sorry, first of all, hayav ba shvi'it, we treat it as hifkir, right, and, and all the laws of, of, of shemitah apply to it, but it's still obligated in ma'asrot because it grew on the sixth year. So what happened? We just said that we go according to when you pick it. And Avad uh, really attacks on Rambam. Mari Korkos explains according to, according to Rambam 
that when we say that we go according to the picking from Maaser is only to determine which year of Maaser, which year we're going to give it as, right? Maaser, we can give it Maaser Shani or Maaser Ani is the first, second year, or is it the third year, right? It depends what we're doing, what kind of Maaser we're giving. But we're never going to say it's Patur from Maasrot because you picked it in the Shemitah. You we're never going to be do Likula like that to be Potera from Maasrot. Rather, um, we're going to just Right, we're going to have it's going to be obligated in Maasrot. We're just going to determine what year of Maasrot uh, it is, and that's what we meant when Hachamim Hazrun Yimnu et Rog Ahali Kedato Yisroda Maasrot. And for Shavuot, that's how Marikor Kos explains Harambam in the Chibur uh, of the Mishnah Torah.